What's going on YouTube, Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, super excited to be showcasing a Hitmon Top team for Ranked Regulation F. Now Hitmon Top kind of works as Incineroar, right? It's got Intimidate, just like Incineroar, and on top of that, it has Fake Out, just like Incineroar. So we're gonna be able to swap in and out as many times as we want, getting off Intimidate plenty of times, and making people flinch with Fake Out plenty of times. So again, just like Incineroar. Come on top also has access to some solid moves such as close combat for big time stab damage. We also got helping hand in today's team for helping our ally Pokemon do more damage. And on top of that, we got wide guard to deal with double hitting Pokemon such as Chiyu, such as Fluttermane with Dazzling Gleam. This team also features some other very strong meta Pokemon such as Rillaboom for terrain control and first turn priority with Grass Guide. We got the Chiyu and Fluttermane combo. Chiyu's got the choice scarf to outspeed a lot of Pokemon and Fluttermane's got the choice spec to do some big time damage to a lot of Pokemon. Our final two Pokemon on today's team is going to be Raging Bolt, the brand new ranked Regulation F meta Pokemon with Protosynthesis and the Leftovers, Rock and Thunderclap, Calm Mind for special attack and special defense setup and then we got Protect and Dragon Pulse. Final Pokemon is going to be Water Ogre Pond. This Pokemon is going to be perfect to pair up with Rillaboom considering we are rocking Grassy Glide on. So I can bring out Rillaboom, I can bring out Ogre Pond, and just Grassy Glide away on both sides of the field. Ogre Pond's got Water Absorb, the Wellspring Mask obviously, and then its other moves are pretty straightforward. Spike Shield, Ivy Cudgel, and Horn Leech. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rent the code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing him on top. First match coming at you guys. We're going up against an Indeedee and Iron Crown team, which means him on top might not make its appearance here in match number one. Indeedee Iron Crown really does count it hard. It's going to be a big time problem for us to deal with. They also have Urshu, they got Tornadish, Chiyu, and Flutter. So who should we actually lead here? We definitely want to bring in Rillaboom here for terrain control in case we need it, but not going to lie, Flutter main Chiyu, pretty solid here. It definitely is pretty solid, and I kind of want to go into that. I think it's just a super solid lead, especially up against a lot of their different Pokemon. So I am going to bring that alongside with Rillaboom, and last but not least, probably Ivy Cudgel Ogre Pond. I like it. I like it. We got the water absorb. I'll be super effective onto a few. I can soak up some shots. I like it all around. So that is exactly who we're going to bring in here. And we're looking to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But yo, guys, guess what happened when I was recording this video for the first time? I made it all the way to the third and final battle. We were sitting, I think it was one and one, but we were killing it in the third and final battle. My power went off. So everything shut down. My whole PC shut down. My switch shut down. Actually, my switch stayed on because it could be played in portable mode. I just seen it light up. And I log back into my computer, check my files. I'm like, please have this recording. We can just start at the third and final battle. Redo that one. But guess what, guys? The file got corrupted. I think if I don't end my recording session by hitting ending record, and if I just exit out of my recording software or if it just turns off, I the file gets corrupted. And that's exactly what happened. The file got corrupted, so I wasted 45 minutes of my life and we're back recording with this team again. Kinda sucks, but I don't mind recording for you guys again at the same time. Gotta bring you guys that content. Gotta bring you guys that content. But so upset because we had some really good battles. I was showcasing him on top really, really well, and the power just shut off right in my face. Right in my face, man. I was upset. But they ended up leading the Iron Crown alongside with Indeedee. And from here, I'm just going to choice into Dark Pulse. I think it's our best bet. And on top of that, we are just going to Going to Moonblast into the slot, or even the Dazzling Gleam. I think we're just going to Moonblast into this Iron Crown slot. And the reason I am going to do that is because if it Terrasalizes, then uh, Moonblast will actually hit hard. But if it doesn't, Dark Pulse can just finish it off. So I'm going to choice into Moonblast here. Choosing into lovely Moonblast. We'll see what he wants to do. Because he could also pop a Trick Room. Protect Iron Crown, pop a Trick Room would be a sweet play. But in that case, I would just have to change terrain. Maybe they'll swap in DD knowing we have Rillaboom in the back end. But again, we're hoping no protects come out from the Iron Crown. And every time I say that, it happens. So now they're just going to protect. They're just going to pop Trick Room. And actually, that was stupid. That was stupid. That, that, that actually helped me out. That actually helped me out tremendously. That just helped me out tremendously. Okay, cool. I was so upset. I was like, okay, they just protect the Iron Crown. They're probably popping Trick Room. But no, they protected Iron Crown and at the same time pop follow me. So they originally had a really good turn. They had a double protect lined up for him because we doubled down in the Iron Crown. 
and then they just follow me cancel it. What was that? What was that? But hey, we take it all day. We take it all day. Oh my lord, that's hilarious. That is hilarious. Maybe it was a misclick. I don't know. Because I was think I would think they would have set up trick room there. It just made the most sense. It definitely made the most sense. Now they're thinking about who to send out in their next slot. Um. Huh. I think we might want to double down on Iron Crown again. Maybe not. We'll see who they bring out here. Might just want to attack that. Come on, yo. Bring out a Pokemon. Bring out a Pokemon. It's going to be Chiyu. Um, Chiyu could be uh, sashed. Iron Crown. I kind of just want to stick with the Dark Pulse in that slot because it's a more choice. And yeah, I'm just going to do that. And I'm just going to keep her from Moonblast. But I'm going to switch it up and throw it into the Chiyu slot this time. So we'll see what they want to do here. And we'll go from there. Because if Iron Crown doesn't Terrasize, I think we just dump on it with Dark Pulse, right? Because we're going to outspeed it with the Choice Scarf. You can do some big time damage. About it. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. But yeah, they had a pretty good turn last time. Going for Protect on play one. Hmm. I wonder what they're going to do here, though. They could Terrasalize. If I were them, I'd probably Terrasalize the Iron Crown here. No, and I'm going to Dark Pulse. And Iron Crown goes for another Protect. And it's going to fail. It's going to fail. So Dark Pulse is going to slide over here. Say bye-bye to Iron Crown. Get it on out of here. Iron Crown gone. Chi is staying onto the field here. Moonblast is going to fly. Probably do some big-time damage. And it does. And this thing is going to drop a Snarl. Which we don't like. Snarl coming out and about. Dropping our special attack to minus... Minus one. So we can still do some big time damage. That thing is orbed. Um, a Moonblast will KO it. A Dark Pulse will KO it. Let's see who they bring out as their final Pokemon. This one's looking like an easy, easy victory for Jeans. But that Snarl kind of do me dirty. And yeah, they were off to like a, a rather hot start. Like that Protect was so huge for me on turn one. It was. So now they're down to their final Pokemon. Can you just press A? Can you click on your Pokemon? Send it out here. We can get after this one. And yeah, we don't even have Hitmon Top. We're definitely going to bring in Hitmon Top into the next match. But I wonder who their final Pokemon is. I can't even remember what their team is. Which is kind of stupid to say, but I don't. <laughs> I don't. They're going to bring out Fluttermane. Okay, so they got Fluttermane to you to finish off the battle. I still have Rolboom, who's going to be really nice here. Um, I have Choice Scarf onto this Chiyu, so I might want to use it to actually finish off their Chiyu, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to finish off the Chiyu, and then just try to get off a Moonblast here. They do have Snarl onto us, but still, Dark Pulse should be able to rip the Chiyu up. Just KO it. It's Chiyu. It's Chiyu, right? Chiyu's not that bulky of a Pokemon. So we're just going to look to take it out, make this into a one Pokemon battle, and then even if Fluttermane picks up a double KO or something... We still have two OP Pokemon in the back end with the Rillaboom Boom and the Ogre Pond. And then from there, I can just double Grassy Glide in the terrain, getting all those boosts, getting all the stab boosts as well, and just finish off this match. So this match seems like a pretty easy, easy victory for us, right? Pretty easy victory. Yeah, Dark Pulse going to fly here, taking out the Chiyu. Bye-bye. And then they're, they probably outspeed us, right? Yeah, and you're going to go for Shadow Ball. Little Shadow Ball, so yeah, you can kill me with that. And yeah, this is where I bring out the Rillaboom. The lovely little Rillaboom, which I can Grass Guide and then Dark Pulse on top of that. And that should be game. That should be game, because Chew's going to outspeed. I know minus one. Rillaboom's going to outspeed with Grassy Guide. But I think the combination of Dark Pulse and Grassy Guide should be able to finish this off. I actually could just go for Wood Hammer instead. Make this actually a little bit better for us. And yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for a Wood Hammer. I don't need to go for a grass guide. I might as well just solidify this victory. Going for big time damage. Wood hammer flying through here and finishing off this match. So there's the Dark Pulse. Not doing that much damage. Shadow Ball is going to come in this slot. Won't be able to soak it up. Thank you very much. And yeah, this is exactly why I went for Wood Hammer. Bigger damage. Make sure this thing goes out. And there it is. 1 and 0 to get things started. Let's go hop into the second match. Try to bring Hit My Top on the battlefield. Second match on its way, going up against another Indeedee team with Armourouge alongside with Sneasler, and then they are also rocking out with Urshifu, Annihilate, and 
Iron Hand. So I know Hitmontop's not the best Pokemon to bring in here for this battle, but I still want to bring him in here. I definitely want to have some fun. We definitely want to bring in Bulboom at some point in this match as well. But someone who I think they're potentially going to lead is going to be like Armor Didi. And in that case, in that case, actually, I'm on top so bad here, but I'm going to bring him in here. I'm going to bring him in here. We're trying to have some fun. But a solid lead for us could just be Fluttermane and Chief again. I mean, it works out so well. You have to dark type in onto the, uh, onto the Fluttermane. Or not the Fluttermane, the, uh, the Chiyu. Plus, I can really get after it. So, yeah, you know what? Yeah, that's just such a solid lead here. We're going to go Chiyu, Fluttermane again. I'm going to bring him on top, and I'm going to bring Robo. I know him on top, not the best. I know it's not the best. It's actually not that bad with Wyguard, but considering, like, Intimidate pops Defiant, I can't fake out the terrain. I do have close combat, though. I can't do some work on a few of these Pokemon. Not really, but... Hey, we're here to have some fun. We're here to showcase Hit on top. I'm so upset, dude. My last recording was awesome with him on top. Now we're just getting battles where he's just not good. At but I end up bringing in these two, which I do not mind. I simply don't mind. That could be a choice. That could be a choice you turning Urshifu. That is definitely an option here. And if it is choice, I might just Dark Pulse it in the slot. They're going to Dark Pulse to just dash and gleam. Do a little gleam gleam. I'm just going to actually Moonblast this slot. I'm just going to Moonblast. I think he's going to U-turn or swap. He's going to end up Terrasalize. So he's going to put the Terra onto Armor Rouge. Grass, maybe? A little Grass Terra? No, Urshi's going to get it. Urshi going water. Urshi going water. I would think he would U-turn here or something. Trying to get out the Edie here. Hopefully Armor just stays in the battle. Be really nice. And he's just going to wide guard. Let's go. Let's go. So Dark Pulse is going to dump on that. Moonblast is going to say, how you doing? And then he'll probably just start to strike. Actually, you're sashed. You're sashed. Come on now. You're sashed. I do have a little bit of deal with that. Surgeon Strike's coming hot here. Who you KOing is a real question. You're going to KO Flutter me. The Fluttermane gonna die out here. Okay. And we still keep our Chiyu with the Choice Scarf. I like it, because now I get to bring it out Roll. Or I can bring out him on top if I want. I'm gonna bring out Roll. I'm going to bring out Roboom. So I'm going to bring out Roboom here. Chances are, if I had to guess, they might just hard swap the, uh... They might just end up hard swapping the what's it called? They might just hard swap the, the Urshifu for Ndidi, which is definitely an option. And yeah, no, they're going to hard swap the... Okay. I'm gonna hard swap the armor slot here. For Indeedee, which is fine because now I can just get the Dark Pulse that. And then I need to swap my Rollboom next turn. Unless I can, I might not be able to. Which could be real tough for us. It doesn't KO either. That hurts the soul. Certain Strike's gonna fly here. He's gonna take out my Chi. So I can't swap and get terrain back. I cannot, but I still really like the damage output that we got so far. I still really like the damage output that we got so far. So now we're sitting here. Um. Now we're sitting here without terrain. They have armors on one HP. They have indeed lower HP as well. Grassy guy gonna put you down to half, which is good. And now I get to intimidate on top of it. So lovely little intimidate. Um come on top's gonna be able to strut. He's hitting the squabble. Hey, right, do it, left, do it. Yo, look at it, my top. Strutting. He's just strutting here. Um, a little bit of an issue we have here. Right? I mean, we can actually fake out again. Actually, we can't fake out again. There's a terrain. A little bit of an issue here is going to be our typing game. And just uh, the way that they have speed. And I can't protect from Surgeon Strikes. Um, but in this case, I'm going to try to go for close combat here. I'm going to just try to Grassy Glide this slot. The Surgeon Strikes is doing way too much damage, right? It's doing way too much damage here. Helping Hand gonna come out here. He's just going to KO him on top. He's just KOing him on top, aren't you? Yep, hit my top going. See, that terrain control just really destroyed us. So, hit my top, gonna get ripped on here. Rillaboom has a shot at maybe clutch this up because we have a lot of Pokemon at low HP. 
and I should be able to take out Urshifu. This is why I wish I had like protect on that, but even if I did, I wouldn't be able to protect through Urshifu. Urshifu is just ridiculously strong. So yeah, that was my whole reasoning of why him on top isn't that good. <laughs> this matchup, it did nothing, but I just wanted to try to get him out here for you guys. Hopefully we'll have a better matchup in match number three, but I pick up a KO there. Um, they could bring out Armouge again. I wish I had a double hitting move. And I still have Terra. I still have Terra. I still have Terra and I still have Fire on it. So I'm just gonna look to just KO this thing. This Arm Rouge. If they follow me, they follow me. I'm gonna Fire Terra here. I told you, I still have a shot at winning this ma this battle. I still definitely have a shot. Wilbur could clutch up with this Fire Terra. I mean, Chiyu put them all really low. All really low. So I end up terrestrializing the room. Going straight fire. Super hot fire, baby. Come on, man. I spit that. Whoa! <laughs> that video is so funny. Super hot fire. <laughs> when they end up dropping a follow me, out comes the armor cannon. Which I'm able to soak really well. Kind of upset that you outspeed me. Your defense is going to drop, and your special defense is going to drop. Right, this guy gonna finish you off. So now he can just go for his little his little move, right? His little expanding force move. Which is scary. I wish I outsped you, man. Wish I was faster. But now this is our final Pokemon, and who is gonna be? It's gonna be Annihilate, but I don't think we had enough horsepower to actually take this thing out, right? This thing's just gonna start bulking up and whatnot. I'm gonna go for Another grass guy, but yeah, this one just looks like it's wraps, right? It looks like it's wraps. Expanded force flying through here. Might just KO me, right? No, we survive it. But he's going for bulk ups, and then from there, it's just game, set, match. So I did make a run for the comeback here. Honestly, I think if we didn't bring him on top, say we brought Ogre Pond, we, we win this all day. We win this all day, but hey, we're still having fun on the rank ladder. We're sitting one and one now. Uh, I'm just going to run this match. We don't stand a chance. And yeah, that's that's the game. Moving on to our final battle, and we're finally not going up against a Psychic Terrain team. So Hitmontop, ready to get ripping. And I think I'm honestly going to lead him. Nice little Intimidates, nice little Fake Outs. We can really get rolling with Hitmontop here in match number three. So that is going to be my lead. They got Primarina, they got Latias. I think they might just lead Latias. That is definitely a solid lead for them. So in this case, I might lead the Raging Bolt or even just Flutter Main, right? Fake outs with him. I could always help in hand. That is something I actually really like. So I'm going to go in with both of these guys um, as back end Pokemon. I think um, Chiyu could be solid with the Choice Scarf. Archaludon is scaring me. That's my only problem. Archaludon is scaring me a little bit. But honestly, I like Ogre Pond here, and I think I'm just going to go Chiyu. Yeah. So I like our lead here. We got Hitmon Top coming in here for the lead. He's got the Clear Amulet, something I really, really like. And on top of that, they have no, the only fake out user they have is going to be Rillaboom. So if they lead Rillaboom, we could just fake it out if we want to. And then have Chiyu just start, or not Chiyu, Fluttermane just start getting after it. Or we can always just swap into Chiyu, allow Fluttermane to get a nice little damage boost, Terrastalize, and just start sending Moonblast Rillaboom's way. That is an option. But it really depends on who they lead. But looking to get after it would hit my top match number three. I know the last match wasn't the best to bring him in there, but I want to kind of force him in there. They go Volcarona, they go Oricorio. Dance or Oricorio? So they're looking just kind of like Quiver Dance up, right? They're looking just Quiver Dance up here. We already know what's happening. Intimidate's gonna fly through here. Um, As much as I don't want to fake out because you probably have Flame Body, I'm still gonna do it. I'm still gonna do it. I'm gonna fake out and I'm just gonna go for a Shadow Ball. I'm just gonna go for a Shadow Ball into the Volcarona. Doubling down early on here in the Volcarona. This Oricorio is actually hilarious, and it's protecting. It's such a cool Pokemon. It's got like a little pom-pom. So he protects that, and he doesn't protect the Volcarona, which we love. No Flame Body. No Flame Body got Rocky Helmet. No Flame Body. Awesome. Awesome. Shadow Ball going to also cook over here. Hopefully no Covert Cloak is there either. And cool, we get a big time flinch. So flinch is out and about. Um, I think now's a solid turn just to swap. Just to swap into Ogre Pond. And just get my fake outs back. Because honestly, hit my top's not too hot in this position. 
So I'm just gonna swap them and I'm just gonna stick with Shadow Ball into the Volcano slot. Looking to get after that. So hit my top. Get on back here. Get on back here. Not bad lead. Love the fake out there. Love the fake out option there. And now I have Intimidate later in the match. Shadow Ball gonna fly. We're gonna say bye bye to Volcarona. And Ori Kurio is sitting here with his little pom poms. Look at him just chilling. Here. With his little pom poms. I think Ori Kurio is sick. He's gonna go for a hurricane. Chill! <laughs> Yo, chill! Ori Kurio, chill. We're gonna save our hit my top for the back end. Now we're bringing out Chiyu. You got a hurricane down my ogre pond like that? Just rip up into it. Should have swapped in Chiyu. Primarina does come out here. Um, I am choosing a Shadow Ball. Which is... Eh. Not too good. Dark Pulse, not too good. Um, I do have Ghost Terra. I might just want to rip a Heat Wave. And I'm choosing a Shadow Ball here as well. So... Yeah, I'm just going to rip a Heat Wave, and I'm just going to Shadow Ball in this slot. I'm Trasalizing Chiyu because I'm not looking to take big-time damage from this Liquid Blue Shot. So, we're going to do that. So, Flutter Mane Chiyu out on the field. Let's do it. Big-time Terra. Coming out from the chiyu -ski. And We'll see what they want to do. They could protect, but they're not. Heat Wave's going to fly through here. Doing some monster damage on the Oricorio. Shadow Ball's gonna get cooking in and maybe finish cross KO this thing. No, bring it down low though. Revelation Dance coming out here. He's gonna do some damage onto you and Hyper Voice gonna fly through here. Chiyu, can you soak? Big time tower from us. And that pretty much locks up this game, right? As long as we land our attacks. Right? They have no first turn priority. They have not a single first turn priority. So as long as I land these Heat Waves, we are thriving. I can go Heat Wave, I can go Shadow Ball. And the next turn, I can swap and hit my top if it is a physical attacker. And we set a choice uh, choice move at the same time. Beautiful. Beautiful. We love it. Premier is going to protect. Can you please land this heat wave? I have an odd feeling that we're not landing this heat wave. I'm going to be so upset. Hit this Oricorio. Take it out. Thank you. Thank you. So Oricorio is gone. Get on out my face, even though I like that, that Pokemon's design. Premier stays on the field due to its nice, lovely protection. All right. So if they do go physical attack here, we might just want to hard swap our Fluttermane here. And just keep spamming these Heat Waves. This Heat Wave will KO the Premier Arena. And it's going to be real big. So they can't fake me out. They could go for Grass Guy. Now this is where it's a little bit of an issue. And honestly, I think maybe hard swapping Chi Yu could be the play here. Just so we can intimidate. He's not going to fake out. He's just going to look for KO. He's just going to look for Chaos, so I'm actually just going to Intimidate, Hard Swap the Chiyu. And just keep ripping Shadow Ball into this slot. Yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do. So I can always fake out next turn as well. So if I just get rid of the Primarina, we can fake out the Robo next turn. We can get off some big time stuff. But I'm going to Intimidate it, because Grass Guy might kill my Flutter. But with this with this uh, Intimidate here, I believe we should be able to eat up a Grass Guy at this point. He's going into this slot anyway. And you get a crit regardless, okay? That's crazy. Shadow Ball's still gonna fly into the Premier Arena slot. We take that out, and now it turns to a little 3v1. Where all my Pokemon can maybe die out to Grassy Cloud. Except for Fluttermane. I think Fluttermane survives a shot. Especially with this extra HP. So hoping Roll Boom doesn't have Protect, we should be able to just fake it out. And then just keep ripping our stab Shadow Balls into it. Fake out coming in hot here. Bopo Choppo damage. Roll Boom's gonna flinch. And I'm just going to be able to Shadow Ball. Beautiful. Beautiful. So now from here, I'm thinking, do we just close combat? I think we have to. I think we have to just double moves. I think we just have to close combat. I could help a hand Shadow Ball, but I think we just go close combat and Shadow Ball instead. This Grass God is going to find the Flutter Main. I'm soaking it all day. Beautiful. And that was just in case that Grass God maybe got a crit and KO'd us. We saw a damage coming in the, in the front. So, close combat. I'm gonna finish this off. Hit my top, clutching up in match number three. Making up for its badness in match number two. We go two and one for today's video. There you go. Hit my top, lighting it up on the rank ladder. We didn't use it in match number one. We forced to use it in match number two, which was a terrible play. We ended up getting dumped on by it. But, um, match number three, he came out dancing, hitting the squabble. Right, do it, left, do it. And he came up clutch. 
picking up a big time KO with close combat, Intimidate helping us out, and then first turn priorities with the fake out always coming in clutch. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.